Hi, this video will show you how to plot spherical equations. To begin, let's change the graph settings from Cartesian to spherical. This will give us a drop-down menu with all the spherical variables. Let's leave it at r equals to 3. We have a sphere of radius 3 now. Changing this to theta equals to 3 will give us a circle. The texture is a little bit distorted because we need to override the default range and change the radius to go from 0 to 5. Next, let's change theta to phi equals to pi divided by 3. This gives us a cone. To see the effect of all of these variables of spherical coordinates, let's insert a variable called t. And we like to animate this variable from 0 to 10. If you have phi equals to t and then run the animation, we get this kind of graph. Trying the same thing for theta equals to t. And let's try this for r equals to t. This is a sphere which radius is reduced from 10 to 0. Now you may be wondering how you can actually insert theta and phi variables. There are two ways to do that. First you can switch to the keypad and simply click on the button here to insert theta or you could click on this button to insert phi. Alternatively, you have a shortcut in your keyboard you could use press Ctrl 1 to insert theta or press Ctrl 2 to insert phi. You're not limited to explicit equations. If you go back to draw settings and change the graph type from regular to implicit, you now have access to any type of implicit equations that you can think of. You also have access to parametric equations. If you change it to parametric you can use any combination of u and v variables to plot your spherical equation. Increases the resolution if needed. In order to see the full list of the coordinates, expand the table. You can click on any point of the graph and the coordinates will be highlighted. This concludes the tutorial for plotting spherical equations. If you'd like to download this software, follow the links provided below.